Yo, what's good? We're looking to the Soli Entertainment TV, and today we are going to be testing out the sh the new shotgun um, in Dead Frontier, the Claw Shot 16. Uh, I haven't made one of these videos yet, even though I've had this gun for a while. Shout out to U.S. Pudding. Um, they were so gracious enough to allow me to to send me this and allow me to use it for this video. I told them I would have it back to them as soon as possible and then like a couple days, but then like I got stuck grinding uh, for a long time. So sorry about that if you're watching, but shout out to you. Um, so the Claw Shot 16, I wanted to, I also wanted to wait to do the showcase for this gun until we had like more information over here about like how much damage it does, what the fire rate is. Um, obviously it's a shotgun, so. The critical is zero and all that stuff but um i wanted to i wanted to make sure that i knew all of this before i made a video so that way i wouldn't have to make a second video uh explaining the damage and all that stuff so this uh the shotgun does 8.63 damage times 20 uh 20 pellets um or it's either it's either 20 pellets at 8.63 or 8.63 pellets, which would be kind of weird at the damage of 20. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's 8.63 for 20 pellets because I do about 14 damage and I have like a 90% buff. Um, now, I'm going to compare this to the chimney sweeper because that's just... That's just the gun that I'm going to compare it to. Like, this gun's cool and all, the buckshot or the bucktooth blaster... Uh, it's only got two rounds. Kind of sucks. Um, the gall. I mean, yeah, sure. You know, they, it, I think it has more knockback uh, and whatnot. But, like, the chimney sweeper and the claw shot are two, like, uh, holiday guns. They're two holiday... Look at this. What the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on with these ads. But um, I wanted to compare these two just to kind of you know two different holiday guns uh both bought and from the credit shop both shotguns one is using 16 gauge the other one is using 10 gauge 35 round capacity in this chimney sweeper here with 80 strength required and 120 skill required uh 120 shotgun skill required it doesn't require any strength so for all of you non-strength players out there uh, this one, this is the gun for you. Um, it has 79 average uh, knockback power per second versus the 72 that the Chimney Sweeper had. Now, when the Chimney Sweeper came out, it was ridiculous how much knockback it has. And now this has even more knockback than uh, this Chimney Sweeper here. Uh, the Chimney Sweeper does 7.48 damage times 20 for a total of 149.5 this does uh, 8.63 times 20 for 172 and a half. So overall, all in all, it is better than the chimney sweeper in my opinion. Uh, 16 gauge, it's got five less shots, but honestly, when you have a quarter of a reload time, nobody really cares. So we're gonna be testing this out today on the Slenderman boss because that's the one that is currently available right now. Um, at least I think it's a Slenderman boss. I don't know, the uh, DF profiler wouldn't work to like, look at the bosses so i had to use a different map so i don't even know if this map is right but uh, as you can see i also have the hand tiling here we will be reviewing this in a separate episode so that way i can get all the information on it um let me just test it out on some of these newbies i guess let's see how it holds back aggro um obviously it doesn't doesn't have an issue holding back aggro evidently um it has it has a stupid amount of knockback um, ammo is also pretty cheap. It looks like where I'm at now. I'm trying to wait for the cycle to go through. I don't want to die. Like, I'm trying to not look at them, but I also don't want to die. I'm trying to look at my XP, but it's not going up. So, I'm trying to see what the cycling would be for, like, how much you would be getting for a gun like this. Um, now, you, you got to keep in mind, I do have a 90% damage boost. Now, however, the damage boost obviously doesn't affect knockback or anything like that. So, um, the knockback on the, on the gun is really just the crazy part. Obviously, it does pretty much just about the most damage for any shotgun in the game. Um, 
and it just it slaps man i mean it hits hard um it's it was weird when the when the chimney sweeper came out it was unbelievable how much knockback it has and then like they're it, it kind of seems like they're every shotgun that they released are trying to one-up it because you don't want to give it like less knockback than the one that you had beforehand but eventually i mean like i have tested this gun out a little bit off camera and if you're like full send like you're full sprinting down any one of these marvelous city streets and you are just holding this button when you hit something it's just gonna go flying off screen like and sometimes even just standing still it does it it's absolutely unbelievable um with this 90 percent damage boost i'm doing a about, I'm doing like 16.4 damage, just about. Um, shooting at average speed, just like the chimney sweeper. Uh, I just gained just 1.6 million experience. Couldn't be, couldn't be fucked or bothered to to add it up like you know piece by piece. Um, shout out to me, I got 325. That's cool. Sorry guys, I'm tired. Uh oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that's cool and all uh i don't want to kill myself <laughs> at all i didn't i didn't grind for you know hours upon hours upon hours upon hours no i had fun i had, I had so much fun uh realistically though me and brandon and and uh his wife uh they do a lot of streaming over on his channel and if you want to see exclusive content you can go over to his channel It'll be linked in the description uh, we did have some conversations that you guys won't be hearing through the, like, Road to 325, because obviously the mic is muted. Um, you won't be hearing those conversations or any commentary that would have been associated with it, because it's going to be muted in the background. So if you do want to hear that, you can go ahead and give him a, uh, give him a look-see. Um, I wasn't in this last couple of streams, because I've been super busy, and just, like, after all the grinding on the computer and whatnot, uh, or on the game, I just didn't even have the, I didn't even have the fucking the willpower to get on the computer for the most part so uh yeah but shout out to him he's uh we're having we're having fun we're having a great time uh but back to the shotgun though you know the important part of the video the one that everybody actually wants to know about uh and like i said it's holding back aggro pretty fine i mean i'm literally standing here just standing here take a couple steps back and then you're you're pretty much good to go, dude. I mean, it's it's there's not much to say. It's an unbelievably broken shotgun. Um, I I'll probably wind up doing kind of like I did with the Barnell boss battles. Um, maybe I'll do the same thing uh, with this weapon here because like I don't know if I'm gonna need to do it so much with the hand talent. I think the hand talent will speak for itself when the video comes out. But, like, this guy, I want to know how this gun, how it stacks up, how it performs against normal bosses, you know, Flaming Rumblers, Flaming Titans, uh, Flaming Black Titans, things like that, because, obviously, this stuff here is a little bit more susceptible to knockback than, say, an FBT, um, I don't think it's going to knock back the FBT, but I would like to see how it holds off the crowd and uh keeps everything intact when we're doing some smaller bosses uh like the flaming long arms and whatnot i i don't think it'll have a problem with any of that but this it's not having a problem with this and let's be honest i mean these slendermen are pretty much just flaming long arms um they might not have as much health but i mean come on who's really fucking counting here I want to see after this i want to see how many like if we can get any one taps in uh with this weapon here like if i just went up barrel stuff something like that yeah i want to see what we can one tap with that barrel stuff um ooh, woofa i've been out of it for a minute boys been out of it for a minute i say a minute but it was like one day um not that i was ever in it once you guys watch the road to 325 you'll understand you'll understand <laughs> you'll understand why uh well i would say why it, it took me so long but uh, somebody just commented in the comment section about how like they were like how did you fucking get the 325 so quick he's like i've been playing for years and haven't gotten it or something like something along those lines i haven't gotten quite to read the entire comment yet um i just had a little drop down on my phone a little drop down notification and like i could see that little part 
But uh, I, man, I literally just sat down. Sat down for hours upon hours. Every waking moment of my life that wasn't dedicated to work was grinding. Uh, like I didn't clean my room. I didn't. Uh, I didn't have any fun of my own. I barely ate, like at all. Um, I did shower, however, though, because fucking gross. Uh, but like, yeah, no. So it literally was just any free time that I had, which wasn't a whole lot, which is why I wanted to get it done before. Uh, obviously, I wanted to get it done before October or no, sorry, November 6th, because well, I was going to lose that 400% EXP boost if I didn't. And, um, yeah, I, so I knew that if I got five levels every day, uh, I would be done by November 6th, or uh, yeah, November 6th. And it would have been super close and super tight, so I decided that on the, the very small amounts of free time that I had, like, I had two days off, but, like, one of those days was completely dedicated to, like, I was helping the young and carpet pumpkin and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, so one of those days was completely dedicated to other stuff, and then the other day, I just sat down and, and I would grind and grind. Within those two days, um, I had grinded out, I think, like, 18 levels or something like that. The one day I had gotten uh 10 levels and the other day i had gotten a little less i had gotten like eight levels because that was the day i was helping the youngin with the pumpkin and all that stuff and uh yeah no it uh i'm excited that i'm 325 but i'm not happy like i'm like i feel like my my uh my bones ache my back aches from sitting in this chair you gotta realize that like you're talking, wow, this gun is so good. Like, the knockback is so good. I wasn't even looking at the screen right there. I was just kind of, like, just letting it rock. I was perfectly okay. You gotta imagine, right, 265 to 325. Or, sorry, even 260 to 325 is 65 levels. And, um, yeah, 65 levels at about one level per hour. Um, I had just almost left. Holy shit. Um, 65 hours, y'all. Not to mention any, like, uh, you know, if I had to stop the stop the piss or, you know, eat or do anything like that. But I, I essentially, I sat at this computer grinding for, I won't say 65 hours, because I was getting some, some high numbers in terms of, uh, in terms of grinding and if you you go back and you watch the videos whenever i upload them um it, you probably won't be going back it'll be forward in time but when i upload them you'll see that like i was averaging sometimes i was averaging like 200 mil sometimes i was averaging like 140 something like that so um <clears throat> it all depended on how i decided to grind uh let me go collect these these trick or trees because i think that we're just about done with this i think i'm gonna go check uh, I'm going to leave the area. I want these sugar treats, though. I'm going to leave the area, and I'm going to go see what one taps we can get. But, uh... Yeah, no, I just... I literally... What the fuck? He fell into the into the dirt. I, I probably grinded for about 60 hours in, at this computer within the span of, like, seven days. Uh... So... I mean, literally over... Uh, just under... I almost said over, but just under half of my life was uh i wonder why i can't find these fucking things they're all like hidden in the dirt um just under half of all of my time was dedicated to grinding so get fucked you little bitch i want to be quiet Won't. <laughs> just shredded that dog dude okay let's see let's go see what one task we can get with this thing uh, of course, with the 90% damage boost, I will add that, obviously. Um, can I one-tap you? I'm going to take it. Okay, I can one-tap that. I can one-tap that. Obviously, I know I can one-tap that. I can one-tap the long arms. I can one-tap the spiders. I can one-tap that. Damn, you can even one-tap the rumblers, like the regular rumblers, which I guess I should have known, considering you can one-tap the irradiated ones. I think they have a little bit more health. Um, one-tap the irradiated long arms. Uh, of course, that's if you barrel stuff. 
one tap to tendril. Ooh, I don't think I hit all those shots there because I hit like the leaper and stuff behind him. So I'm gonna go see if I can find maybe another one of those. Oh, here's a leaper. Okay, can't can't one tap barrel stuff the leaper. Believe it or not, uh, I'm taking some L's out here just to just for the sake of this. Um, I want to find another one of those vagina mouth bomb thing. There we go. Can't barrel stuff that thing either. Okay, so the leaper and the whatever the, the fucking whatever that guy is. You think we could barrel stuff a siren? All right, so the leaper and that thing cannot be barrel stuff. Um, however, okay, bro, relax, bro, relax. However, just about everything else can literally just be barrel stuff in one tap. Like that's unbelievable. And I think there's an outpost attack, unless it's over now. Uh, yeah, okay, it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. That's just that's so fucking ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> yeah, claw shot. Uh, ten out of ten would recommend. It is definitely worth the thousand credits or the thirty million, whatever they're selling for, uh, on the marketplace. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is uh, this is a good gun. Just like the chimney sweeper was. We were all shocked when the chimney sweeper came out. It was uh, it was interesting to say the least. Um, and I don't even have this thing fully maxed out. It's uh, it's missing five reloading, but again, who? Yeah, I mean, who cares? Um, at that point, uh, I think that's it, really. There's there's nothing else really to show. Obviously, I will do uh, some when the normal bosses come back out in a couple days. Here, um, I will do some videos on the on them and how well this stacks up, as well as the pistol, because you want to know how well the pistol and the uh... can I can I actually close this, or is it about to take me somewhere? Okay, cool. I can actually, <laughs> I can actually close that. What a weird fucking ad. Um, obviously, we want to see how the pistol and the claw shot stack up to the normal bosses. Uh, but for right now, I mean, it's pretty damn good. It does like what? What's the chimney super do? 270? 280. It does 43 extra damage. It has nine high or sorry, seven higher uh, average knockback power per second. So. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, it spoke for itself. I was essentially walking that entire time. The fact that I got hit a bunch is just because I'm shit. I um, mean, I really wasn't paying attention. But I literally just walked around for the most part. Uh, so it's pretty good. Um, Like I said, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. With all that being said, I will do the hand talent in the next video. Uh, and if you liked this video, or if you like any of my content... Be sure to definitely hit the like button, the subscribe button, the share button. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. And um, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a new video. Because you're not going to want to miss what is next. You're not going to want to miss the new drops. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to miss them.